Welcome back children. This is video 8 and in this video we will learn simple future tense. So let's get going. Children by going through these examples that are listed in the on the slide will give you a better understanding and you will be able to understand the difference uh, between a simple continuous and perfect as aspect of future tense. See the first sentence says in two years time I'll write my novel as you can see in the picture. It's just an idea that has come up in this person's mind. So it's a simple statement simply states that a particular action will take place in future. It neither talks about the completion of the action nor it states whether the action is in progress. The second sentence is in three years time I'll be writing my novel. So the person starts two years from now, three years from now, definitely the novel will be in process of being written. So this is future continuous. Then the third sentence is in four years time, I'll have written my novel. That means this action of writing a novel will get over. And how much time will it take? Four years time. This is perfect. And it talks about an action. That is finished. Okay. Now for future perfect continuous. We can say that the person is saying. In three years time I will have been writing my novel. So that means the person some part of the novel will get over. Some chapters will get over. Whereas the, the, uh, the novel is still being written. So it is a combination of perfect and continuous tense. The structure of simple future sentence will be subject plus will or shall depending on the subject 
plus v1 that is root form of the verb plus rest of the sentence then uses when do we use very very simple to describe a simple action in the future she'll write the email after lunch second is make a prediction or give a warning when you are talking about future it is of course taken as a prediction don't lift that you will hurt yourself this is a prediction or it will rain tomorrow this is also a prediction then the third use is make a spontaneous decision me uh, example is you dropped your purse i'll get it so when somebody drop the purse i have decided i have decided there and then only i'll get it another example of decision is i will travel to japan next year so this is my decision the next year i'll be traveling to japan the time expressions see children in most of the future sentences will uh, sentences of future tense we use tomorrow next week next month in two days next weekend the day after tomorrow etc children i forgot to mention the previous slide actually had structure uses and time expressions of simple future sentences with will and shall this is structure uses and time expressions of sentences with going to form but of course these sentences also are a part of simple future tense okay so the structure of such sentences sentence is subject of course subject as i told you whether written or not it is understood subject plus am is are plus going to plus base form of the verb plus rest of the sentence uses to suggest a person's intention to do something when someone is intending to intending to do something in future then this tense can be used or this form of simple future sentence can be used the girls are going to sing amazing grace now so the intention of the girls is quite obvious then father is going to buy another television set today wow so the intention of father of buying another television set is very very clear second uses to make predictions about future on the basis of some observations or sign somebody observes and then predicts for example look at these black clouds it is going to rain so first the observation what is the observation black clouds and what is the prediction the prediction is it is going to rain right then the second example it is going to be chilly here as it has it as there was heavy snowfall on the hills so what is the observation heavy snowfall on the hills and the prediction is it is going to be chilly here time expressions almost the same for going to form also the other uses of will and shall apart from uh, being an important part of simple future sentence the other uses are listed here while offering to do something i will help you unpack this is an offer then while agreeing to do something i will accompany you to the auditorium then the third is while asking somebody to do something will you please get me a glass of juice the fourth is to express an action over the speaker has no control something that one cannot control for example i shall dirty my shoes in this flooded street obviously if you are walking in a flooded street the shoes will definitely get dirty then the last use is an action that will happen as habitual action an action that is repeated as a habit but of course in future the children will be back by afternoon so children they've gone to school they will definitely be back one more example is brittany will play with her sister in the evening so probably brittany has agreed to play with her sister in the evening now changing of affirmative sentence to negative and interrogative is very easy since the helping verb is already there and the helping two helping verbs are shall and will or am is are so i shall fly a kite they will come to visit us he will go to the bank we shall buy a car the cobbler is going to mend the shoes all these affirmative sentences are in line with the structure that we have learnt earlier now to change into negative shall is helping verb 
insert not after it i shall not fly a kite they will not come to visit us he will not go to the bank then we shall not buy a car and fifth is the cobbler is not going to so here is is the first helping verb so we will insert not after the first helping verb the cobbler is not going to mend the shoes interrogative same rule for yes and why yes and no type of questions the rule is same bring the helping verb in front or begin the sentence with helping verb so shall i fly a kite question mark will they come to visit us question mark will he go to the bank question mark shall we buy a car question mark is the cobbler going to mend the shoes question mark now children after this uh, i'll be sending a reference video please do watch a re the reference video also on simple future actions which will be continuing in the future or will occur in the future ongoing actions are included in future continuous tense the timeline of future continuous tense is this the red line the red curved line shows the timeline of future continuous tense the action starts in future and ends in future but at a point in time it is going on for example i'll be flying for us tomorrow at 9 am so tomorrow refers to future tense and 9 am is interruption that time at 9 am i will be flying so the action is going on when will we be arriving in sydney this is also of course it is a it is a wh question but it belongs to future continuous tense as it is will be plus v4 form of the verb as far as structure is concerned subject plus will be shall be plus v4 v4 is ving form of the verb verb plus ing form it is used in all continuous and all perfect continuous tenses time expressions is almost the same then uses along with the uses i have listed a, a example for each use so that it is easy for all of you to comprehend to describe interrupted actions in the future so when you come tomorrow they will be playing tennis so that means the children are playing tennis and uh, while the children are playing tennis somebody will arrive so this is the action that it interrupts when you come tomorrow is the action that interrupts an ongoing action in the future then the second use is to express actions in progress at a specific time in future now here if you see the example here the time is mentioned as 12 o'clock so 12 o'clock is an interruption by specific time so at 12 o'clock we will be having lunch at school the third use is to express an an action fairly certain to happen in future when you are sure about an action that will take place in future mr mehta will be shifting to his native place after retirement now shifting cannot be done in a moment it is not an action that will occur in a moment it's going to take a long time so it is future continuous tense the fourth use is to ask a question politely about future will you be bringing your friend to the party this is also future continuous then to emphasize future plans and intentions when the plan is fixed in future or intention is there future continuous is used he'll be coming to visit us next week there are other ways also children of expressing future continuous tense and it is simple present tense and present continuous also the example is the train leaves at 6 am tomorrow now if this tomorrow is removed if this time expression is removed then the sentence will appear to be of simple present tense but tomorrow is a time expression for future then she is meeting a new client at 6 o'clock in the evening and she is traveling by bike through the forest so 
meeting is going to be an ongoing action in future because it is six o'clock in the evening. And then another action she is traveling by bike through the forest. This is also future continuous tense, but it appears to be a present continuous. Generally, children, future continuous tense is often not used uh, because it can be replaced by simple future tense, be going to, present progressive or simple present also at times. Like here, see the examples in this table. There's a sentence of future continuous tense. I'll be leaving in a few minutes. Now, subject plus will plus B plus V four form of the verb and rest of the syntax. The same sentence can be stated in simple future without changing the meaning. I'll leave in a few minutes. This is also conveying the same meaning. Then be going to form. I'm going to leave in a few minutes. This is be going to form of simple future. Then present progressive or present continuous tense also. I'm leaving in a few minutes. And simple present tense, I leave in a few minutes. So, we really have to be very careful while choosing future continuous tense. Now, future continuous tense already has will be or shall be uh, in its affirmative sentences as uh, given in the examples here shown. So, negative can be formed by simply inserting not after the helping verb. Now, it's a sheer coincidence that the examples included in the slide all have will as the helping verb but shall is also used and shall is restricted to be used with I and we only. This we have to remember always. So I will not be singing at the concert tomorrow. She will not be baking a cake for me. They will not be writing a letter. And to make interrogative yes no tie then we will simply Move the helping verb in the beginning. So it's going to be, will I be singing at the concert tomorrow? Question mark. Will she be baking a cake for me? Question mark. Will they be writing a letter? Question mark. So children, in this uh, video 8, we covered simple future and future continuous tense. As I mentioned earlier, I will be sending a reference video link also which is of simple future tense. Please watch that also. Thank you so much.